Hey guys, it's your boy Shiloh, and today we're going to be talking about the top upcoming games I'm going to play on my channel soon. So, you know how I've been uploading now consistently now, and I have a lot of things that I want to actually play to you guys. So, I made a list of everything for upcoming, and um, previously I actually made a video on games that you guys recommended to me. And although I love those games, there are also games that I just, you know, chose for myself that I uh, want to play for you guys. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Number 10 is Minecraft Legends. So Minecraft Legends is an upcoming real-time action strategy game developed by Mojang Studios and it is set to be released in 2023. So basically it's like a spin-off of Minecraft, you know, Minecraft Dungeons, Minecraft Earth, Minecraft Story Mode, etc, etc. You know they're, how they're starting to make stuff now these days and I'm like, okay, pretty cool. So the plot is basically an invasion by piglins from the nether. So this is actually pretty interesting because I'm thinking, you know, this is actually going to be pretty good because, you know, you're fighting the, um, the nether, it's going to be like new piglins and everything, and you know, it's going to be super awesome. So it's going to be released on the Switch, PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox One, etc, etc. And I've already completed Minecraft on my channel, so this is actually a pretty good opportunity to just start with something new. Next up we have Cuphead and the Delicious Lost Course. So Cuphead and the Delicious Lost Courts is a DLC of Cuphead actually, and I actually really want to play it for this channel, but then there's another thing, I still haven't actually completed Cuphead because it's actually a really hard game, but also I did record some Cuphead um, like a month or two ago and the file corrupted, so I completed some bosses but it wasn't actually shown. So what I'm planning to actually do is re-record beating those bosses again so that I give proof that I didn't cheat or anything like that. So uh, yeah, but Cuphead and the Delicious Lost Course is basically just another island and everything and you get new power-ups, new bosses and uh, yeah, I love it and I can't wait to show you guys. Next up we have Sonic Frontiers. So Sonic Frontiers is an upcoming Sonic game, which I've been excited for for many, many years, bro. No, well, not many, many years, but I've been waiting for a new Sonic game since 2017. And how Sonic Forces has kind of been mediocre and everything. I was waiting for a new Sonic game, something that will refresh the series a bit. And Sega is delivering with Sonic Frontiers. The writer of the game is Ian Flynn, which is a very good writer. I've seen him write a lot of Sonic media and it's very good and according to Sega Sonic Frontiers will take 20 to 30 hours to beat and it's an open world game basically um, and you can do basically whatever you want you can run you can defeat bosses um, basically like a shadow of the Colossus but Sonic Frontiers and everything and uh, yeah I mean I'm excited for it because I remember when this game was having leaks and everything and it looks promising and even uh, Masahiro Sakurai actually played the game and the creator of Smash Bros and he gave it, you know, side of approval and I'm like, okay, so it has to be good now. Now we have Splatoon 3. So Splatoon 3 is, I think everyone knows what Splatoon is. I think I show Splatoon sometimes though, and um, I'm a big fan of it. I played it in 2015 or 2016 first, and then I started playing it ever since. I have Splatoon 1, Splatoon 2, and now I have Splatoon 3. So I wanna play Splatoon 3 because it's a relatively new game, and you know, let's go along the way of, you know, uh, playing what's it called, Splatfest now on the channel, and etc, etc. So, uh, right now there's a new Splatfest. Uh, what would you bring for a deserted island? Um, grub, gear, or fun? And me personally, I would bring grub, in my honest opinion. I mean, I want some good food. Like, honestly, I, I want some good food. What if the desert, uh, the deserted island doesn't have food or anything? You're just gonna starve? So, nah. I'm picking grub. Now we have Breath of the Wild 2. So Breath of the Wild 2 is just the sequel to uh, Breath of the Wild 1, and it's a Zelda game. So I loved the first game. It was, I 
honestly probably one, one one of my favorite games ever. Probably should play that first on my channel, like we play it first on my channel. But I really want to uh, film Breath of the Wild 2 for you guys and just play it and everything. Maybe even stream it on Twitch for some odd reason. So uh, yeah, but uh, it's coming out uh, next year and I am patiently waiting for it after so many delays and everything. So I hope uh, I hope they succeed and uh, do it right because the game's looking very interesting. It's called Tears of the Kingdom. So I don't know. I don't know what that must mean, but it should be something bad. Now we have Elden Ring. So Elden Ring came out and everyone basically beat it at this point, but not me. I have the massive skill issue of not beating it. So that being said, it's time to tell you what Elden Ring is all about. Elden Ring is a Souls game, basically, but an open world one where you can do anything you want, not linear or anything, and you could basically choose whatever boss you want to uh, beat, and etc, etc. So, uh, basically, I've played it. I've only beat the first boss. I'm not really that much into the game, so there isn't, there actually is a lot of new stuff I can show you guys while I play it for you guys, and you know what? It might be a very long series, but hey. I'm all for hard games. I play Cuphead, I play Getting Over, I play Jump King, etc, etc. All for those hard games, and I'm pretty sure I can beat it. Now we have Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. So, I love Kirby. Kirby is one of my favorite uh, brands ever, and Kirby now has a free... Well, no, not a free, I'm talking about like free roaming game, and basically open world, basically. So, now, it's Kirby, but open world, you can like... Uh, take people's abilities, fight bosses, etc, etc. And I want to play it for you guys because that'd actually be really cool. It'd be like a Mario o Odyssey type of thing, but not really. It's like Kirby in some sort of way. And you always know Kirby for the people that have played Kirby. There are some intergalacto bosses at the end, so I can't wait to uh, see what guys, what's going to happen in there. So, uh, yeah. I think it came out already as well, so I can start playing it immediately for you guys. Now we have God of War Ragnarok. So God of War Ragnarok is basically a sequel to God of War 2018. And so I haven't played God of War 2018 for you guys, but Ragnarok looks pretty exciting if you've seen the trailers. So I think I'm gonna start playing God of War on this channel for you guys. It's basically about uh, Greek and Norse mythology and everything, and Kratos and his son and everything. And it's a very good game. It's a good father-son bond and them traveling up a mountain, etc, etc. I don't want to spoil too much details. But the sequel's coming out, and now we have Kratos fighting Thor, which is, you know, the God of Thunder. I think a lot of you might know Thor because of, you know, Marvel and everything. But this one is a more accurate of what Thor really was in the mythology and everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, I honestly believe that this is going to be one of the best games uh, of 2022. And I hope it wins Game of the Year, actually. Now we have Street Fighter 6. So Street Fighter 6 is the sixth game in the Street Fighter series. Well, unless if you count Alpha as part of the Street Fighter uh, series though. But um, so there's Street Fighter 1, 2, Alpha, 3, 4, 5, then 6. So there's the sixth game. It's basically, I think everyone knows the fighting game uh, thing and everything. But uh, basically, this is for new gen consoles and it looks super super good and i'm like you know what it's time to start playing fighting games on this channel and so yeah that's exactly what i'm gonna start doing and actually honorable mention before i get to number one tekken 8 so tekken 8 not much detail is about it but i love tekken tekken is one of my favorite series ever uh, in terms of a, of a fighting game genre and I want to play it for the channel as well and finally conclude the Mishima drama that has been in the story for many many years from the beginning of the series and everything and uh, yeah I'm excited to show you guys both games actually now we have spider-man 2 so spider-man 2 is a game I've been wanting for so long Ever since the first Spider-Man game came out, I think I played it on launch day. It was one of the best games ever on the PS4, and I haven't actually completed the Miles Morales sequel, but I'm gonna play that. But still, 
Spider-Man 1 was one of the best things, and I played it the, the days straight, skipping things that I actually needed to do just, just to play the game. And I was playing with Sinead as well, and we were like, we were so high about the game. We were defeating the bosses, etc, etc. And I actually had a bit of practice from this other Spider-Man game I played called The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but from a different developer and everything, but I kind of got the hang of it and everything. So, Spider-Man 2 is going to introduce Venom now into the story, and I'm pretty sure you can play as both Miles Morales and Peter Parker. So that's going to be pretty cool also, so I'm excited for it to show you guys as well, and it's going to be... Oh, it's gonna be a very good game. I really hope it uh, wins the next year's game awards and everything because it's gonna be super hype. It's gonna compete against Breath of the Wild and everything. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more of this uh, video game fun. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Woo!